Hey, AMUMC, it is Friday, April 24th, and it's such a privilege to walk with you in this time of prayer. Let's get started. As we enter into prayer this morning, let us close our eyes and take a deep breath and recognize God's love for us. Our opening verse is Isaiah 57, 15. For thus says the high and lofty one who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place and also with him who is of contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite. Amen. As we take a moment of silence, let us confess our sins to God and recognize our need for his grace and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. May almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins through Jesus Christ, our Lord, and strengthen us to live in the power of the Holy Spirit all of our days. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our reading from the book of Psalms is Psalm 16. Close your eyes and hear these words. Keep me safe, O God, for in you I take refuge. I said to the Lord, you are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good thing. As for the saints who are in the land, they are the glorious ones whom is all my delight. The sorrows of those will increase who run after other gods. I will not pour out their libations of blood or take up their names on my lips. Lord, you have assigned me my portion and my cup. You have made my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I have set the Lord's ways before me. Because he is at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices and my body will also rest secure because you will not abandon me to the grave, nor will you let your Holy One see decay. You have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Amen. Our gospel reading today comes from John verse six, uh, chapter 16, verses 1 through 15. As I read today's gospel, visualize yourself and hear what Jesus is saying to you. All this I have told you so that you will not go astray. They will put you out of the synagogue. In fact, a time is coming when anyone who kills you will think he is offering a service to God. They will do such things because they have not known the Father or me. I have told you this so that when the time comes, you will remember what I warned you. I did not tell you this at first because I was with you. Now I am going to him who sent me. Yet none of you asks me, where are you going? Because I have said these things, you are filled with grief. But I tell you the truth, it is for your good that I am going away. Unless I go away, the counselor will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict you of the world, 
He will convict the world of guilt in regard to sin and righteousness and judgment in regard to sin, because men do not believe in me in regard to righteousness, because I am going to the Father where you can see me no longer, and in regard to judgment, because the prince of this world now stands condemned. I have much more to say to you, more than you can bear now, but when the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears, and he will tell you what is yet to come. He will bring glory to me by taking from what is mine and making it known to you. All that belongs to the Father is mine. That is why I said the Spirit will take from what is mine and make it known to you. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. As we respond to today's readings, let us affirm our faith by reciting the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he arose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And now let us boldly pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And as we enter into a time of intercessory prayer, hear these words. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. And now in a moment of silence together, let us lift up our prayers and our concerns to our Father. Lord God Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the filling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. And now, let us take on this day with the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.